Hey Wax friends, I'm Maggie. Welcome back to my channel. I am here today with my Knowles Farm scent haul. I have been patiently awaiting this delivery. I'm so excited to get this. Um, Knowles Farm Scents is one of my favorite vendors. Uh, it's owned by Travis Knowles and he is right here in Illinois, actually not far from me. Just, um, I don't know, hour and a half up the interstate, something like that. I could have ordered more on this order, uh, which is a story of my life with Knowles Farm. I was really trying to be good when I made this order. Um, yeah, this was a pre-order from when? When did we make this order? Was this January or was this February? I don't know, but his turnaround time was amazing. I, uh, and his shipping is always real fast. Um, yeah, I don't even remember when this was. January and February. I just know he's like quick. So, like I said, Knowles Farm, right here in Illinois. Um, he puts this card with all the social media, a little handwritten thank you. And there is an invoice here. So, like I said, I could have got a ton more, and I'm actually going to wish I got more of a couple of these. Um, let me go through, uh, grab my, I did get one double, that's a double, that's a single scent, um, his, uh, his boxes are always packaged beautifully, it's an interesting one, okay, I got two samples, first you get a waste not chunk, which is such a, a brilliant way to give samples. Never know what it is. Um, mm, this smells body care like. So I don't know, you know, it's just all the leftover extras. Mm, that's a wonderful scent though. And then I got a sample of cashmere blanket, which is cedar wood, spices, tonka, olive wood, jasmine, amber, and cocoa butter. Olive wood. I don't know that I've ever seen that. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Okay, that's super pretty. Definitely, I think Brad would really like this, actually, in the basement. This reminds me of something. It's definitely cozy, but it's really bright. Like, there's a real brightness to this. It's almost, it's kind of masculine, kind of body care, but not like cologne. I don't know. I'm, I suck at this, you guys. I suck at giving explanations. Oh, I like that one. Hmm. Okay. All right. I have a couple repurchases. Um, the first one is Strawberry Pound Cake. Now, this is his, uh, he calls it Just the Chunks. And these are $7.75, and they are five ounces. So, Strawberry Pound Cake, a Strawberry Vanilla Pound Cake, and Butter. Okay, Strawberry Pound Cake is never my favorite strawberry, but I love his Strawberry Pound Cake. It smells like an ice cream shop to me. I put my nose in here and it is the strawberriest strawberry pound cake I've ever had. And it smells to me, I get like a, when I put my nose in the bag, like a woof of how it is when you open the door to an ice cream shop. And I, I don't know what it is, but I love the strawberry pound cake. Yeah, it is, it is just beautiful, and I think it's probably the only strawberry pound cake I really go after, so I love that. Um, the other repurchase I have is just plain old pumpkin pecan waffle. This is butter, cinnamon, apple, vanilla, and maple. I 
I, I love this. I this is unlike any pumpkin pecan waffle I've I've had from any vendor. I, I don't know. Is it the apple? It's it's mapley, but there it's not like it's not like maple syrupy. I don't know how to else to explain that. You definitely get some maple. Maybe it's the, all the butter. I think it's the apple though too that makes this different. I mean, I can definitely smell maple, but it's not like maple syrup. Yeah, I I love this pumpkin pecan waffle also. Like I said, it's it's different than any other vendor that I've had. So I grabbed those. So those were my repurchases. Okay. First one I have here is uh, Mad Woman. Plum, black cherry, amber, freesia, citrus, sugar, and vanilla. It's got beautiful labels, pour dates, scent notes, everything on these chunk bags. And this is yummy. This smells so familiar to me. This plum is, this is just, it's beautiful. I cannot, I, I smelled this earlier and I've been trying to figure out what this smells like to me. It's just the juiciest plum. I mean, it even kind of gets me in the feels here, you know, when you smell, and it's not sour. Don't, don't even think that. It's just so juicy. There is, I, I do get the brightness. I think that's the citrus. I don't know. This is totally reminiscent of something I've smelled in my life and I don't know what it is. Have I, is this a dupe for something? Have I, did I miss something? I don't know. It's a, it's a beautiful, beautiful plum. Wow. Yeah. I like that one. Okay. The next one I got is red and I almost didn't get this one. This is pistachio pudding cake, zucchini bread, and birthday cake. I love the way pistachio smells. I just don't ever reach for pistachio. This is just, it's, this is really good too. It is a really, really strong pistachio. I think I'm getting that birthday cake. I get that bakery. I get a bakery smell. I don't know if I get zucchini bread on cold, but I get I get a bakery smell, just like a a waft hits you from a bakery. And then definitely strong nutty pistachio. Might be a tad cherry lean pistachio. I don't know. But um, I like that. I do like that. Okay. Then I grabbed Bad Blood. I had to grab this one just because these notes were so intriguing. I don't have anything like this. White cake, white chocolate, sweet cream, and toasted coconut. This is interesting. Like I said, I don't have anything like this. Definitely get the coconut. Definitely get the white chocolate. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. This is a very interesting scent. It really is. It's definitely chocolate, but it's white chocolate. It's a different kind, and it's it's um. And with that toasted coconut, there's a bakery note from the white cake. 
Yeah, this is so interesting. It really is. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I can't imagine I would melt this alone. What will I mix it with? It could be good mixed with coffee. I actually think you could mix any kind of fruit with this too. Yeah, you could. You could put any kind of fruit with this and I think that it would be good. Yeah, this is gonna be interesting. Okay, happy to have this one. Happy I tried this one. Then I grabbed clean. Strawberry pound cake, raspberry, sponge sugar, and laundry. I love laundry. I haven't been buying a lot of laundry lately. And this is, this smells like a laundromat. It's just kind of, it's not a, to me, I just get an overall laundry smell. Really, really sweet from the strawberry pound cake. I think I get more dryer type laundry than detergent laundry. Yeah, so this reminds me of more like a, a fabric softener or dryer sheet type laundry smell, but then it's really, really sweet with the strawberry pound cake and the raspberry. Yeah, this is a really good laundry. Ooh, I just got a big whiff of the strawberry pound cake there. Yeah, that's going to be a really interesting, good mix. Yep, that one is really good. I like that one a lot. Okay, and then I grabbed two of Stay, Stay, Stay. Now, when we did a live, I wasn't on the live, I don't think. I don't think. Maybe I was just talking to the girls when they were doing the live. I can't remember what live I was on. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, we were trying to decide what we thought this was going to smell like with these notes. And this is Stay, Stay, Stay. It's caramelized vanilla, sea salt, macadamia, tonka bean, and coconut blossom. And I think that I thought maybe it was going to be like one of those Sol de Janeiro's. Maybe the, the, the green one, maybe. I get a lot of, like, caramel in this. Yeah, I get a lot of caramel. I get a little bit of nuttiness. This I'm I'm really interested to warm this one. This is like a syrupy caramel. I get a really syrupy caramel out of this and a little nuttiness. Is it toasted? caramelized vanilla. I kind of get a toasty note in there too. Caramelized sometimes is a little, not really burnt, but you know, you kind of get that. Yeah, so I do. I definitely get a caramelized, heavy caramel uh, nuttiness to this. Hmm, this is going to be interesting. This might be too sweet for some people. This might be a little too ooey gooey sweet. It's not as body care. I thought there was gonna be a little more body care to this one. Maybe it'll show up on warm. Because I am, I am truly getting super, super sweet, caramelized, caramel, vanilla, you know, nuttiness. So yeah, we'll have to find out. I like it. It's it's really good. I just thought it was going to be more body care. That's that's what I had in my head. Okay, I grabbed two loaves. Now the loaves are 13.5 ounces and they are $20.25. And the first one I have here is in Midnight Rain. This is Beach Evenings and Blackberry. It has an amazing Beach Evenings, Beach Nights blend. Mm, it's really good. And I think he said his is made especially for him. And these loaves are, they are solid. Ooh. Oh yeah, it's really good. 
it's similar to other beach nights, but it's a little different. It's, it's not the same at all. Oh, that blackberry is really bright and juicy. Oh, this is good. I, I really, really like his beach evenings. Yeah, you could, he could do anything he wants with his beach evenings. It's just, it's great. You can mix that with anything. Really good with the blackberry. Like that. Okay, and the last one I got, I'm super, super excited about. It is. I bet you think about me. It says Cali Coffee Bar, which is an amazing uh, coffee oil he has. Sugar Cookie Dough Bread, which is one of his um, top blends. And Palo Santo. Yeah, this, I like this more every time I stick my nose in this bag, you guys. Mm, okay, yeah, this is just a bakery coffee with his Palo is, I think his Palo does lean a little more cologne than others, but man, is it good in this coffee blend. Oh, yeah, this is excellent. Oh, this, this, this is going to be, I can, I already know on cold, this is going to be right up there in my top favorite coffees. I'm sure of it. That Palo Santo just does something and it's, and I don't know that every Palo Santo would make this as good as it is. I think with his Palo being a little more to my nose, I pick up a, like a, a, a cologne note to his. Yeah, this is going to be, this is going to be one of my favorites. I know it. Oh, I cannot wait to warm that. Okay, so that is my Knowles Farm order. I am loving everything. I'm really excited um, about what I got here. Really kind of excited to see how some of these come off on, on warm because they're different than what I thought they were going to be on cold. But so many things change all the time. So definitely the star of this order for me is this coffee blend. It's, it's something special, I think. I, I really think that Palo is excellent with that coffee. Um, oh yeah, and Beachy Means is fantastic. Um, Mad Woman is great with that great plum. Two that I'm really, I, I can't wait to see what this bad blood, this white chocolate does on warm. And the stay, stay, stay. Because this one's different than what I thought it was going to be. So, interested to see if it comes across a little more body care with the coconut blossom and the sea salt on warm. So, we'll see. And I will let y'all know as soon as I know. So, um, yeah, thanks for stopping by and seeing what I got from Knowles Farm. Um, super excited for this order. So, everyone, have a great uh, rest of your Monday. And I'm sure I will be seeing you soon. Bye.